This is my old childhood rocker, and as you can see, it has seen its better day. Uh, so the whole thing is just falling apart. There are several things on the rocker that need to be replaced, but I'm going to try to reuse as much as I possibly can to keep it original. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is just tar start taking it apart. Uh, this piece here between the two rockers, it's busted and broken, uh, so it's got to be replaced. So I know that it's got to be got to be replaced. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and cut off these nails. I tried to pull them through, just wasn't happening. So I'm gonna get rid of those, and then the seat support here that I'm fixing to show you. Uh, a lot of those nails have made their way through, so uh, there's not a lot of wood there. So I'm gonna turn that 90 degrees and use some fresh wood on that. So hopefully I can keep it. Uh, but the front part of this rocker is has broken, and I think it's because there's not a lot of material there, and the wood moving over time, it just cracked. Good thing the band was there, or that had, would have fallen off a long time ago. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to take this seat support over to the band saw, and I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. So hopefully this will sit back in there a little bit better and allow that front piece to sit in place. Now, through this whole process, I dropped this piece and it broke into like three pieces. So I'm having to glue it and tape it back together. Um, so I'm gonna let that dry overnight, come back the next morning and it's holding up just fine. So that worked. Uh, so I'm gonna put the seat support back in and then hopefully I can uh, bring these two pieces back together like, like it used to be. Uh, and I tried clamping this to see how well it would hold, but pipe clamps and uh, our ratchet strap just wasn't doing the trick. So I'm going to put a lot of glue on it, put some pressure on this, and I'm just going to tape this up with some painter's tape. Uh, just go around the, the perimeter of the uh, base of the rocking chair and hold it in place. And so uh, in the end, this worked. So I was really pleased with that. Uh, so I'm just going to tape this up and let it hold. And then also I'm gonna take some, uh, some more glue and just shove in all of the cracks uh, that I can find around the base or around the uh, front part of this rocking chair. Just get as much as I can in there. And then clean up all the excess and then move on to the next part of the project. So I've kind of split this up into several parts. Uh, that first part was kind of tearing it apart and seeing what I could put back together. Uh, this part is uh, replacing what needs to be replaced. And so, like I said, the piece between the two rockers, it has to be replaced. And some of that is missing, so I'm having to sketch out what I think I need. Uh, and so I'm going to cut this out of a piece of red oak that you see there. And just so happened to be the same thickness, or a little bit beefier, so that's good. Uh, I'm just going to cut it out on the bandsaw. And so it does have an arch at the bottom. I'm gonna put in like three relief cuts and the reason for that is so I don't have to take out the whole arch uh, with one cut. I can make my cuts in you know, two or three stages and it just allows me to get into that next cut a little bit easier. And so that worked out good. Um, I didn't have a lot to sand to, to get all that back into shape. So uh, no problems there. So I'm just going to take it over to the uh, leg vise and take a block plane to the top, smooth it out real nice so the seat can sit down flush on top of that because this is what I'm going to be screwing into. Uh, so that worked out real well. Um, like I said, I'm just going to sand it and hopefully this piece will blend with the rest of the rocking chair, uh, but we'll see about that. All right, so now I've got everything glued back up, uh, the front of the rocker, uh, when it's planned, I'm going to slip this band back into place and it fits just as I'd hoped. And so that worked out real well. Now I'm just going to knock the dirt and the grime off of this and um, hit the bands real lightly and get, just get the loose rust off. I want to keep the patina and all that stuff. Alright, so now the fabric and all of this, I thought about replacing it, but like I said, I want to try to keep this as, a, as original as possible because this is my childhood rocker and I want the memories to stick with it. So I'm going to try to use what I remember 
seeing in this rocker. I just clean everything up really good. There's no odor to this. Uh, everything's a little bit dingy, but that's okay. Uh, I give it a really good cleaning with, with a shop vac um, using the same foam. I'm gonna put the, uh, the most original fabric back on here. This is the fabric that came on the rocker. So I'm just gonna tack it back on just for sentimental purposes. Uh, and then once I've got that uh, tacked into place, I'm also going to put the other fabric uh, back on it as well and just staple you know, staple that back on uh, because this fabric is what I remember. Uh, this fabric is what I see in my mind when I see this rocking chair and so uh, really and truly this is uh, how I remember it and just brings back the vivid memories. So uh, yeah, I think this is going to it's going to be good. So the last part of this project, I just need to be able to bring everything back together. Um, and I'm gonna use screws in this situation. I'm not real happy about this, but I just think it really needs it to beef everything up and give it a lot of support uh, that it needs to be able to withstand uh, use. Maybe my, my third boy that I have now can use this. And who knows, this may be passed on down to grandkids and hopefully to stay in the family for a very long time. And so I want to really try to make this um, as strong as possible. And I think the screws are the answer. Uh, so we're just going to go with it. And so I turned that seat 90 degrees, that support in there. And so now I've got some fresh wood to screw down into. Uh, I'm screwing down into that support and into the top of the rockers. And so now it's just time to uh, finish this thing and apply the finish to it. And so hopefully this will uh, bring back all the memories that were, went into this rocker, uh, all the scratches, all of the, you know, just the character, the dark streaks, and uh, I don't know, just something about that old look that just really uh, sets it off. And so that right there is how I remember this rocker. And so that is a good memory. Um, I just, I can't explain it, but that's a good memory. So you can see all of this. Um, basically it was done by me as a child all these scratches and all the nicks that you see you know the gouges I'm sure you know no telling uh, what I use this rocking chair for and how I abused it but uh, this is a project uh, worth keeping and so hopefully hopefully um, this one will stand the test of time and if it does get broken in the future then maybe my boys can, you know, redo it and make it better for, you know, kids on down the line and future generations. So really, really happy about this project and really pleased with how this came out. So if you, if you like this video, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. Um, we have other videos as well. So feel free to roam around and uh, watch some of the other videos. All right, guys, thank you, and we'll see you next time.